Uh, my name is Daisy. I'm 28 from Houston, Texas, and this is Financial Audit. What do you do in Houston, Texas for a living right now? I am a store manager. Store manager for like retail? or It's a construction company. Oh, yeah. okay. Store manager? Yeah. So it's a shop they can go into? Uh, we mostly deal with like contractors and dealers, but it's open to the public. Okay, very cool. What do you what do you make doing that job? Uh, I get paid hourly sixteen fifty. Dang, that's a manager salary. Well, I do a lot of OT. Is it so? Is it more like office manager, not like a manager manager? So uh, I always tell people I'm like the cashier, but I'm like manager by default. So do you oversee? Do you have direct reports? I do everything pretty much. Do is there people that report to you? Nope. Ah, okay. Okay. We're good. a two man show. Oh, okay. 1650 plus what for overtime? Or is it uh, 1650 no matter what? No, uh, double time. Double pay? Double, double for whatever, overtime? No, time and a half. Sorry. That's still yeah. really good. What would you say you uh, make a month in average? Uh, I've averaged it out to 3120 and that's uh, after taxes. Very nice. Okay. We'll take your word for it for now, at least. Um, good. Do you like your job? I like it a lot, actually. How long have you been doing it? So, um, I've been with the company seven years. Wow. I have recently started taking the manager position uh, back in 2020. Okay. So right when COVID hit in July. So 3120 bucks a month, post-tax. Good. Describe your financial situation for us in the most honest, open way possible from your perspective, and then give yourself a score zero out of ten. Uh, right now, I want to say a point five. Oh, okay, all right. As far as like the hammer financial Go score on. goes, oh, you want me to like dig in there? Yeah. Um. Why? What is your financial situation? It's not bad. But it's not like point five. Great, <laughs> like I'm not like I, okay. I have like debt, right? Credit cards, debt, <laughs> American debt, credit cards. <laughs> I have a car. Um, with debt. With debt. Uh, I mean that falls into debt, right? Yeah, if it's car debt, yeah. <laughs> and then I have a loan. And oh, I didn't send you my uh, student loans. Okay. Don't you're not. It's okay. It's like seven hundred dollars. In total. Yeah. Okay. Why haven't you just paid that off? Seven hundred dollars. Because it's seven hundred dollars. If I can like get away with not paying that. Oh, you're thinking it might get forgiven. I mean, if it does. If not, I mean, it's just seven hundred dollars. Forgiven, but so we'll see. We'll it's see. It's not the end of the world. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, let's take a look then. You have a lot of documents, so. <laughs> That's a credit card, that's a credit card, that's a loan, that's a loan, that's a credit card, that's a credit card, that's a credit card, a that's lot. a credit card, what? <laughs> My goodness, okay, here we go, here we go, Your new chase checking, that's what we're looking for. Okay, so what immediately concerns me, this scares me, 0.5 makes sense, okay, you started with 2,131, great, high five, fantastic, I love it. You... Ended with six point six seven six dollars. You ended with six dollars. Everything that goes in goes out. Are there automatic payments to Everything things? Everything is automatic. Everything's automatic. Yes. Do you? No. You don't overdraft. Never. Everything's How? Because <laughs> so everything's on auto pay just by default, like a safety net. But I do make my payments prior to the due date. Like okay. Auto, so usually my auto pays are zero. Oh, but six dollars sixty seven cents. If we have six dollars and sixty seven cents, why are we getting prime donuts and Sonic drive through and Philly cheesesteaks all within all within a day? That was in one day. Not, and ATM withdrawals and zelling out money and zelling out money all within a day and Jack in the Box. What kind of day was this? Was this a consume 10 meals kind of day? No. So they're pending transaction that just kind of get posted the same day. Even with it, even if they're within a <laughs> few days, that's insane. And taking out $200 for an ATM. Where'd that go? Either if not bills or rent. You pay that with cash? Yeah. All right. We'll get into that. 
Oh, great. All right. <laughs> Zellin out. Or I don't want to say her name, but you're zelling her money. Like, constant. 75, 75, 75. Why oh, are we that was, that was, uh, that wasn't mine. Um, you sh- you're going to see a zell in from somebody for 150. Yeah. That covers two of those. What's, what is happening? There were some vitamins. What? <laughs> you're paying for vitamins for her? She's paying for well, vitamins no, for um, you. I was there at the moment when we, when I got mine. And she was like, hey, get mine too. And then I'll sell you. And then that was But it. you have $6 in your checking yeah. account at the end. Why are we doing this if we can't even have more than $6? Everything in, everything out. Well, up to this point, I've never like had a... Like I never thought... I never saw the importance of having money oh. extra in my checking account. Okay. Well, well, we need to look at the full picture before I guess I give too much fire. What is this? Am I pausing the video real quick to talk about who I'm partnering with? Mint Mobile. Why, yes, it is. And all it takes is 15 minutes to pay as little as $15 a month on your cell phone coverage. Why would we not be doing that and putting our money in better places? Switch to Mint Mobile. I partner with them for a reason. Imagine what you could do with the extra money that you save. Why not go and buy a brand new yacht? So make sure you go to mintmobile.com forward slash hammer. 15 minutes, low as $15 a month. Come on. Now back to the episode. Over there, but to cure uh, of some kind and Amazon and Amazon and Cafe, Burger Fresh, Prime Donuts, dude. I mean, come on, it's not even like I mean, that's terrible for you. In Amazon and Pizza Hut, we're payment, we're making payments to some cards, some payrolls coming in, okay. Tacos, Jack in the Box, Stitch Fix. You do not need to be doing Stitch Fix. Six dollars. What? Those are for my kids. You have children. I have two. What are their ages? Uh, My oldest one's gonna be twelve, and the little one is nine. So you had a kid at (laughs) at sixteen. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. 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 You don't need to be Stitch Fixing for a kid, though. When it, I call it Target. I, I've never... Oh, no, I've had been to Target. I don't like going into the store. Okay, but Stitch Fix is ridiculously expensive for, for kids. For um, kids, I try ordering one box for me. It's hella expensive. Not worth it. But for the kids, I do feel like it is worth it for the amount of clothes that they get and how often they get it. You know what's worth it based on how often you get it? Subscribing. Because I upload three videos a week. And you should subscribe because we're trying to get to 500,000 subscribers. And thank you to everyone who has subscribed so far. Love you. Cash app and out. Paying There's off cards. There's some cell payments in there that are questionable. Pandora? Pandora? <laughs> who does Pandora in 2023? Me. Pandora. <laughs> yeah, you. You're keeping their business afloat, Pandora. Single-handedly. <sighs> Capital One, we have something with them. Capital One. No, that's a card, so we're not going to look at that yet. All right, Capital One Pets. Oh, that's also a credit card, so we're not going to look at that yet. Capital One Savings. $200. So there's $200 sitting on the side. Right now, yes. Okay. You you seemed a bit, like, curious there for a second. Uh, so, uh, so I made a payment to one of the cards with the savings. I, so I okay. just opened the savings account probably like in the end of February. Because again, I, didn't, I had, when it comes to like financial literacy, I had zero. Yeah, most people have zero. Up yeah. until like literally January when I started watching like TikTok videos of how to budget. Yeah. Good. Like, well, so, okay. Well, to be clear, I will dig into your situation, dig into your debt just to make clear to yourself how bad it actually is and we haven't even gotten into it yet so that people who might go into your situation know how bad it is and how dire it is that's so people in your situation realize how bad it is so we're not half so we're not saying this isn't bad you said this it's not great but it's not bad either like i'm like we need to realize how bad it is but what i will not do is yell at you for just your past in general because i mean i'm a completely imperfect person not of all of us have things we've got in the past in general like I mean, it's not even, none of us are close to perfect. I, I I guess uh, what I'm, what I'm trying to think of is we focus on personal growth here is the most important part. We do need to realize how bad the current situation is, but personal growth is the most important thing. That's what I try to focus on and stuff like that. So again, 
completely imperfect past. Trust me, teachers and people I've interacted with can tell you that. Like I was a little <laughs> in elementary school. I was a bully. I had some bad friend mm. groups for a while and then throughout middle school until I got into a good friend group and focused on different things. Like we all have questionable past, but what matters is not what you did at a certain point a decade ago. What matters is what you're doing now to improve your life and what you're going to be doing in the future. So that's what we're going to focus on, but I will dig into you a bit. Okay. Now, okay. Because the debt, you need to realize what it is. And especially since you said, oh, it's not great, but it's not bad either. It's like, all right, come on. There's also a gnat flying around. I say it's a not bad because I'm not overdrafting, but I guess it's not okay. great. Okay, well, there's, there's other debt. things besides <laughs> overdrafting. Yeah. Let's start with this. We have a pet credit card. It, I named it a pet credit card, but it's not a, pre- a pet credit card. It's just that every transaction that I was going in there was specifically for my pets. You, have a, you had a low balance. 238. Yeah. But you paid $88 towards this, so we're making progress. But then $462 of purchases. What are we doing? Because we're losing interest on it. If we're losing interest on it, why are we spending money on it? I'll tell you why. Because you have $200 in savings, and because everything that leaves your checking account only leaves you with $6. So you don't have money. So you have to put it on credit cards, right? So you're clearly overspending. Because let me guess, you do not budget. Is that correct? I barely started budgeting. Barely started budgeting. Yeah. So new stupid balance on stupid pet card is a stupid $620 out of an $800 balance with $7.50 of interest being lost on that $462 of purchases. It has a zero balance right now. Zero balance right now. You've paid it? No, I transferred it. (laughs) Well, we'll get to that. Yeah. We'll get to that because that doesn't. Okay, we'll get to that. What you doing here? Texas litter. It's Some a- bird place. <laughs> two Amazon purchases, one being 158 in Chewy.com. Very expensive way to do dog stuff, by the way. I've looked everywhere, and that's the most co- uh, effect- cost-effective thing for my cat. For your cat versus yeah. going inside a pet smart? Yeah, the food that she gets is a lot cheaper because it, it, it doesn't charge me delivery when it's on auto ship. Well, Amazon doesn't charge for delivery either, but usually it's, the it's way you cheaper, go about it is still more expensive. It's cheaper through Chewy. Right. I looked at everything, believe me. So apparently there's a $0 balance on here, but it was transferred, so we'll see where that is. But either way, we have a Capital One Platinum card. Was this also transferred, or is this where it is? No, the Previous <laughs> balance, $5,074. <laughs> yeah. Is that where it is? Uh, or was this transferred as well? No, this one stayed the same. Okay, three hundred dollar payments, but why are we paying? Why are we buying things on at twenty three dollars thirty five cents? That wasn't me. Um, what? My mom has a card. She has access to this card. Yes. Are you on the card? It's my card, but I no. made her an authorized user. Why? Whenever she has my kids, um, they're like, "Hey, she wants this," or "Hey, can I do this?" No, <laughs> give her, give her some cash. But if I use cash, I don't have, like, I, I lose where it goes, you know? It's Either way, this is money getting spent on a card yeah. that has a balance, and you're basically, so the current balance, because interest charge, interest charge $121. You know that's insane. That's insane. $3,120 coming in a month, and we're losing $121 in interest there. So this is Capital One. I'm angry about the debt, not angry at you. But because that, when I see $121 of interest, I mean, that just, that kills my soul. Now, what does make me angry is spending on a card that we're trying to pay off. And I'm scared that you made your mom an authorized user. My goodness, death. She never does anything without asking me first. Then say no. We're trying to pay off a card. Four thousand nine hundred twenty-one uh, twenty dollars and thirteen cents. Death with a minimum monthly payment of one seventy-one, uh, with a hundred and twenty-one dollars and ninety-three cents. Hundred and twenty-two dollars essentially interest lost. It's insane. I feel your pain. I didn't start looking at it like that until. Literally a month ago. Well, this was a month ago. March, McDonald's, twenty three thirty five. Yeah, it's an important purchase when we're trying to pay off credit cards. Mickey D's, Golden Arches, sucking all our interest. <laughs> yeah. Is it a joke to you? No. It's okay. It's a little intense watching you. 
It is. It is. But it, the debt is intense. It requires an understanding of how bad this is. And I am angry at the debt. And I am angry of spending on a card that we're trying to pay off. In general. Credit one gray? There's three. Yeah. They're, oh. And they're different. Oh, yeah. No, and we know credit one is a little... <laughs> credit one's a... <laughs> we've had someone recently you. with credit one. I know. I just wanted to show you. There goes that. Oh. <laughs> oh. There goes that one. Well, well, well. These and are closed? Uh, no. So I had called to close the blue one first because um, it was my... I actually know. I don't think I've chopped up credit cards. Woo! Use that one, and so I was gonna close it because they were charging me fees. Yeah, was, credit one's death. Because I wasn't. So it's an annual fee, but because I wasn't making purchases on it, they broke it down to monthly fees. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, I called to cancel, and they're like, Hey, we're gonna um, stop your fees for the next six months, and uh, give you back like the fees that you were charged for this year. On all three cards. So I haven't closed them, but I did chop them up. Close them. So. Close them. Because they might be in your Apple wallet. They might be safe to your computer. Close them. I don't have Apple. Close them. I don't have them anywhere. Close them because you can order a replacement. Close them. <laughs> You're clearly not a credit card person, not even close. You had a previous balance, eight ninety six, and before you chopped up your card, you made a forty five dollar payment, but you made three hundred ninety one dollars of purchases. What's even the possible point? Because we're paying twenty three dollars sixty five cents in interest on it. That's insane. Already stacking up, and this is just one card out of a thousand trillion cards you have with a new balance of a thousand two hundred sixty six dollars and sixty seven cents out of a balance of one thousand six hundred fifty. Your credit score must be bad. Is it? It's at 650. Wow, I'm something. surprised it's even there. And we're going to getting some brewing and Dairy Queen and Mambo Seafood and Mexican Grill and Popeyes and Prime Donuts again, which is already on checking account. Why are we going further into debt for? I mean, this isn't even anything. If, if you were, um, okay, a mom, uh, two kids, let's just say single mom, I don't even know your relationship yet. Let's just say that. And okay, we're not, we, we can't afford to eat. We can't afford to eat. You know, hopefully we get into a better situation. We work on career, we work on emergency funds, things like that. Yeah, okay, fine. But you're in a bad situation and you swipe your credit cards just so they can eat. But that's, that's for groceries. You're doing this, you're getting mambo seafood. How is mambo seafood more important than debt and getting out of it? So, all those transactions went up up until March. Um, As far as, like, beginning of April, I completely stopped. Like, I went back in all my transactions, and I was like... (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) It's literally, like, 90% all... Right? And I was like, there's, like, maybe one for, like, a dentist and then another for, like, gas. But majority of it is just crap. And I'm like, over $1,000 on crap. And I'm like... So, that's when I was like, okay, I need to... I need to stop and get my shit together. What scares me is I'm glad you have that little fire lit under your butt. But with this, what you've built up over time, mm-hmm. how sustainable is that? I don't know. So I can't make any happy judgments off of like, woo, woohoo, or we've changed things for a week, you know? Yeah. We do have the blue card, 824. You paid that off, but then you made $23 of purchases. It's and then there off. were fees. Their fees, but it's paid off with their fees. Either way, you're going in Food Mart grocery store, please. No, that was actually um, it was for an auto shop store. I, I don't know if it was AutoZone or Riley's. I had to change the filter in my car. It says AMPM Food Mart. So I don't know what that is. Okay, we have this is Credit One. Just Credit One. This is straight up Credit One. Previous balance zero dollars. Payments of fifty two dollars. Other credits four dollars sixty three cents. New payments of four or new purchases of four hundred twenty nine dollars. But uh, what's the balance on this currently? Which one? Credit one. Straight up credit one. It just is credit one. Yeah. I'll pull it up and I'll let you look at them. So there is a balance. Yes. Uh, but it depends on which one. <laughs> just. At the time of the statement, the balance was three hundred seventy two. I figured. I thought you were possibly paying this off. So I didn't, because I, I made some changes this, just this month, but I didn't want to like wait until afterwards because I made a lot of bad decisions this past in March, and I pretty much wanted to like, you know, 
$312.92. Minimum payments, 30 So now it's accruing interest, and you're losing interest on that. Home Depot? Is this a Home Depot loan? Or a credit no, it's card, a card, sorry? It's a charge card. Uh, yeah. $27, paid 30 and then we made $71 of purchases with a new balance of $70. Is there a balance on there? Right now, no. Good. Did you even go and purchase? I can't even see. The statement sucks. It's, uh, I'm... Mm. What? I'm building uh, an enclosure for my lizard. So that's a lot where those that's, coming from. You don't need that right now. The I don't we've already need it. Out of, she does. Then I'm sorry. Maybe you, you can't I afford know. to have a lizard. I know. It's irresponsible for someone to get a pet they cannot afford. And you cannot afford it. Well, they're all rescues, so. It's like, Still irresponsible. Yeah. Bad for the pet. Freedom Chase. Let's see how much freedom you're getting from this. Previous balance, 338. Payments, 642. New purchases, 689. New balance, 385. There are balance currently on there. Chase Freedom. Yes. What? My uh, light bill and the groceries. What's the balance? Uh, I'm not. Do you 200 bucks? Pull it up. Uh, we'll just go off of what was on the statement because it can't be that different. Which was three eighty five. Payments of forty is needed. You gotta just stop giving these banks and cards your interest, dude. It's a Walmart, MLB shop, MLB shop. That is not important. I'm guessing the twelve or nine year old got something. That is crazy. not important right now. What's important is mom gets in a better spot so she can take care of their future and her future. So they're she's not relying on them eventually. Two MLB shops. Frontline, ut uh, frontier utilities, and then Walmart twice. Walmart, I hope it's groceries. I don't know. Yeah, everything from Walmart is all groceries. It's all groceries. Oh, right? Chase Sapphire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. God, I thought we were winding down and we could just get out of this bad debt relatively simplistically. Relatively. I want to say 700 of that was transferred to, to... I got a city transfer card for the interest fee. But only $700 of those? Well, because I transferred the uh, whatever was left from the Capital One and then the remaining balance of whatever I could from the Sapphire. There was previous balance, 4776 We made $790. Congratulations of payments. But $672 of purchases... Yeah. I, I need to know your mentality. Why are we purchasing on something? Why are we purchasing on something that is accruing $90 of interest plus $16 of fees, leaving us with a balance of, oh my goodness, what is this? What is this? What is this? $34 under the $5,000 credit limit. The balance is, the, 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 the stupid freaking balance is $10 less than when you started, even though you made payments. Sorry. You're yelling and it's like triggering. Okay, are you okay? No, I'm fine. Okay, um, sorry. I mean, this is how I go about things. Oh no, I know. To make I sure like, they understand I knew how you were gonna yell bad situations like, are. Okay, are you okay? I want to make sure you're okay. Well, what's most important is you getting on this bad situation. You asking somebody if they're okay does not make it better. Oh, okay. Well, I want. Okay, well, I just want to make sure you're good. Um. So ninety dollars of interest on this. How, what, what, what's the balance currently on this? Uh, forty-one. And yeah, interest of ninety dollars. Death, ninety dollars. Death. Minimum monthly payment on this thing is three fifty-three. So, um, Chase has this. Um, what do you call it? I forgot what they call it. But they'll break it down into six monthly payments. And instead of charging you interest, they charge you a fee. So I've been going like back and forth with this. It's like, okay, yeah, this well, is Yeah, well, that's good. why you had this stupid fees. So it like pretty much forces you to pay it earlier. Yes, no, it does. But I mean, <laughs> you $16 of fees. So it, instead of uh, getting charged the, what is it, the 29% APR, it like pretty much goes down to like a one point something APR. And then you pay it off quicker. Okay. Yeah. No, I get it. It's still terrible. Just pay like, it with your money. What's store 128? I don't know. I have to look at it. Well, we go there a lot. 
Doing Sam's Club a lot. Okay, at least these are groceries. Oh, wait. McDonald's, McDonald's, McDonald's. Yeah. Sam's Club, finally. Back to groceries. McDonald's, Sam's McDonald's, Club. Wendy's. Huh. It's either gas or um, my Fast dog food. food. Gas or dog food? Yeah. From Sam's Club? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh the debt's that... Why are we putting it on this card, though? We're losing money. I need to know where your mentality is at still. I haven't gotten the answer to that question. I had zero mentality before, like, two months ago. Uh, so Two months ago. This is within that, though. That's what I'm saying. It's like, um, I didn't start looking. In, again, I didn't know what the hell a Roth IRA sure. was up until, like, January. Yeah. But, of so course, this is quite looking a few months at, ago. um Looking at, until I started, like, budgeting, I didn't start looking at the way... You look at interest. How'd you look at interest? I was just like, okay, I have until next month to make the monthly payment, and that's it. I wasn't necessarily, like, I know it's stupid, and it's really, like, common sense, but I wasn't really looking at it as, like, losing money, you know? Like, okay. I know, I know, like, a credit card is borrowing money, but I wasn't really, like, letting it sink in that, hey, you're f- losing money. Yeah. So, like I said, like, I was like, okay, it's not bad because I wasn't, like, overdrafting and I wasn't, like, making my payments. But it's not great because, again, you're losing money. Yeah. So. Oh, dude. Yeah. Dude, dude, dude. Personal loan? What did you take this out for? It's, um, so the initial, because I refinanced it. And I paid some credit cards off with that. This is refinanced? Yeah. Oh. I don't like I tried because I went and back and looked at what I used the refinanced amount for and some of it was payments other was probably bull- and I, can, for, I can't even I don't even know what the initial loan was for so, well it's at $8,010 it's seven something right now seven seven something seven thousand seven hundred is that mm-hmm. what you said good well I mean progress with a 27% interest yeah that's insane. That is disgusting. That is vomit ruining everything. Again, I was like, eight months. I thought that was like a pretty standard APR ah. until I started watching like your videos and I was like, well, sh- I'm well, getting at least, learning. at least you learn with $133 a month and minimum monthly payments. Jeez. Yeah, this thing's ruining you. Ruining. And then we have one more of the car. And then we need to talk about where the, those other ones were transferred to. But either way, card, Ford credit? Okay. Okay, so finance through Ford with... What is the car? Can you tell us the car? It's a 2018 Ford Escape. $9,783 left on it with a $451 minimum monthly payment. What's the interest rate on this bad boy? 6.7. Wow, well, as far as your interest rates go, that's okay. Well, I did get it back in 2018. 7%. Yeah, but... Well, and I have no down payment. Credit score. Okay, so in those balances that we haven't added up here because they don't exist, that was transferred to something. The city transfer? City transfer. What's the balance on there? Uh, 14. With the tra- That's with the transfer amount. $1,400. Minimum monthly payment of what? It hasn't um, said anything yet, but... Because oh, I just it got just it. Did it. Yeah. So the goal, because I only, it, it's 18 months of zero APR, but um, it only gives you up to like, I think, four months to do the transfers to qualify for those 18 months. So the well, goal, is the 1400 the max that you're going to do on it? 15. Okay. So it's at the max. So the goal is to try to pay off as much as I can in those four months. So I can transfer as much as I can. Over 16 months, okay, so it's going to be 87.50 a month to pay it off. Girl, you have gotten yourself into some debt. Yeah. All right. We need to talk about a couple things before we come up with a plan. We need to know where we're coming from. One, do you have a significant other? No. Okay, so single mom. Yes. I have two kids. Okay. Do you receive child support? No. Okay. Why? Have you pursued it? No, um, my little one's dad put himself in child support, but doesn't pay it. Well, so he, wait, he does what? He put himself in child support. I never, like, wanted to bother with it because it's like... It might be worth bothering for because the more you can come in, the more that can come in, the better getting out of the situation will be. And he put it in you, so... Yeah. 
he owes. Stick it in, pay up. <laughs> I mean, I don't have time to be. Go to the court. Going through the process. I think the money versus the time will be good. I don't know, hundred percent sure. You'll have to look into that. Speak with someone. Even if you put a little bit towards it for any kind of legal advice, I think it'll be worth it. That might be something I consider. Either way, or that you'd consider. Either way, you have full custody. Yeah. They're one hundred percent with you. I mean, it's the there's a joint custody with the little one, but again, he, I have her. no child support. So two different fathers. Mm-hmm. Okay, no child support from either. Mm-mm. Okay, yeah. Court is calling. Court is calling. And wrap it up next time. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a long time ago. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, through the past and stuff like that, you said the yelling was triggering. Do you have some trauma and stuff in the past? No, it's just um, confrontation. Either I cry or I get mad. Okay. I just happen to want to cry at that moment. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, I just want to make sure because if we deal with trauma. No, it's just. That um, changes how we approach some things yeah. in terms of going forward. and. Yeah. So, how many hours a week are you working right now? I know you're getting overtime. What uh, would you say? I always work around 52 hours. 52 hours. And that's every week. You clearly like this company. You've been there for a while. Mm-hmm. You're not making a great amount of money. Like 42, 43. I recommend, I mean, I don't, I don't want you to go to college with these kids and paying off all the debt, but it might be worth getting certified in something mm-hmm. to try to get into like a $60,000 career position where you work 40 hours a week. So... I've, I know I can get a better job that pays more, mm-hmm. but I do. I am very comfortable where I'm at mm. because it, it the pros and the cons. Not financially, like it, the pros and the cons, especially because of my kids. So whenever they're not in school, I take them with me. Um, yeah. During the weekends, during the summer, I take them with me, so I don't have to pay for child for child care. So I just had someone on the show before you. I don't know when their episode is going to come out in relation to you, but it was two hundred dollars. For them to go to summer school all summer, two hundred dollars. You making twenty thousand dollars more by getting certified is fun fact. A little more than two hundred dollars. So what I recommend, you can check out Course Careers, which is what I personally partner I, with. I, I did look into it. You looked into that? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's something you can look at and look at different certifications as well. Either way, getting certified in something. Fun fact, you don't need to go to college to make a lot of money. Out of my friend group here, the person who makes the most amount of money is the person who actually did not graduate with a degree but got certified in cybersecurity. He's the one that makes the most amount of money. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. A lot of people think college is everything. Well, either way, with the amount of hours you're working, you're not making a great amount of money. And I would rather you work 40 hours a week plus additional, making much more money so you can get out of this debt quicker. So they do, I have a bad health insurance with them and a life insurance. Yeah, you'll get that with any company. And profit sharing. Okay, so well, what's the profit sharing that you're getting? I haven't actually looked into it, but it's... Is the income that you've gave me included that? No. Okay, well, like I, don't I, think I, it's, I don't think it's going to come close to so you. I, like I said, I know that it's not the best, but at the moment... Why not that I'm get the right best? Now, because it works for me right now. But you know what works for you better? More money. Mm. That also offers health care. Every job's going to give you health insurance. That's a good job. And we're talking about getting you in a good job. Every job is going to offer life insurance. Come on. Don't be one of those people that subscribes to a job like a religion. Put yourself higher. I bet we could get you into a spot certified or using the experience you already have making $50,000 a year instead of like 42, making $60,000 a year on track to make 70, 80 in the years to come. We could do that. You have a good, you have a good amount of experience at one company. People are going to love to see the loyalty. And for a company that you've been with, with a long time, you're not, I want you to make more for the hours you work. If this is what you were making 40 hours a week, I'd be like, okay, but you're working like mid fifties. So come on. You're being t- almost taken advantage of, in a way. Not really. A lot of people aren't going to see it as that. But, I mean, yeah, I guess I shouldn't have said that exactly. But, in a way, your skills could be used somewhere that brings you more money. More money means get out of debt quicker. But we'll just budget with what we have because from the conversation so far, I don't think you're going to leave, which is a terrible choice. But <laughs> that is what you're going to do. What a person's going to do is what a person's going to do. All that eating out and stuff... 
it no longer exists. It no longer exists. Okay. As it doesn't exist. You don't do anything that is fun. We're only buying used things when we need to buy things for the kiddos for now. Temporarily. Temporary I've, uh, sacrifice. Pause the stitch fix boxes. Good. Make sure you don't resume it. Like I said, I've made changes this whole past, I mean, this month. And, like, I could have waited and, like, shown you progress, but I... I oh, student loans. What's the student loan? Oh, you told me. <laughs> what was it? 700 and something. That's going to start pretty soon. You're going to want to just pay it off. Okay. Your debt's somewhere around $31,000. $31,000 in total bad debt. There's not a single good debt in here. It's all bad debt. And you ate out $1,236. That's probably a whole lot more than that, but yeah. Probably more, but that, that's what we got. And you cash and zelled $1,200. That's pretty much equaling your entire take home. So there was a zell in there for like four fifty. That I let somebody borrow. Somebody borrowed from you? Well, it was, I was in Why are you lending money for people to borrow when you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine terrible debts to pay off? I don't want to get too much into it, but um, it was initially borrowed, and then I just kind of like take it as a loss at this point. They haven't paid back? I don't Great, see Great, we it. learned. So no more, <laughs> yeah. no more lending people money. We don't do that. You give it, you give it. If you want to, you can't afford to give it. Yeah. Or we don't. Do anything. So, yeah, that was with your eating and selling out combined, it was basically your money. It's basically your money. Not much left over, which is why we are spending on credit cards. So, it is time that we budget. Let's get these minimum monthly payments added up and we will budget. Oh, jeez, girl, I'm so sorry. Your minimum monthly payments are basically half yeah. your income. It's a thousand. Three hundred twenty nine dollars. I think I've written like ten different budget plans, and literally, again, I realized the thing with the pets because subconsciously I didn't know I was realized I didn't realize I was doing this, but not a single one of them includes my pets. So I realized that you know the pets are not in the budget. Okay, what's your rent? Seven hundred. Shit, seven hundred dollars is cheap. Yet, we have almost no wiggle room already. Utilities, renter's insurance, electricity, internet, all that combined. What do you think it is? Just about. Um, so, uh, 260 How much do you spend driving for gas? I budget 70 a week. Oh, week. Well, I live in Houston, but I work in Conroe. Okay, so the work is, that's another reason to get a better job. Dude, you're blowing money you don't have for this stupid job. Why won't you listen? Why'd you come here but you won't listen? That's an obvious thing that people will be screaming. You need another job. What's I the point do, of coming on? Um, DoorDash and Spark in the weekends. Yeah, but I would rather you do that more frequently because you're only working 40 hours a week at a better job. You have the experience. Let's get certified. We can do things. So I didn't, I didn't include that as part oh of the gosh, income. Right. Excuses. But pretty much all of that's going into... But why will you not listen about the job? What's the point of coming on here? Because that's what works for me now. No, it... But it's, it's not working. You want me to demonstrate it? I will demonstrate that it doesn't work. Are you ready? Are you prepared? Go ahead. Let's get the rest of your budget. We're going to do, with the kiddos and yourself, $500 a month for groceries. 200 200 Yeah. Yeah, I doubt you track that very well. We're no. going to give 300 yeah. We're going to give 300 because I'm incredibly skeptical with that. I can show you. Toilet paper. <laughs> We're giving you $200 a month. No, 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 sorry. $100 a month for stuff for the house. Making sure so, everything's good. Um, That's going to ebb and flow, but on average. Sometimes you'll need to stockpile a good amount of stuff. Everything will run out at the same time. Mm. What? I don't live alone. Okay. So it alternates... Like, what I pay for household stuff. So fifty a month, we'll give it probably fifty dollars a month, and then pet. What does it require to keep your pets alive on a monthly basis? So, just food, basically. Um, they go through it maybe every other month, so probably one fifty, one seventy. 
I'm going to go on the higher end. People underestimate, which is, again, the grocery bill. Maybe we got lucky, but that would be insane. So, quote, it works for me. I'm not going to get another job because it works for me. This does not work for you because your bills in order to survive minimum without doing anything outside of what we just talked about, 3094 and you bring in with overtime working minimum 50, mid-50s a week, or yeah, sorry, a week, 3120 3120 meaning you have $26 left over. $26 left over. So this is what works for me? Mathematically? No. Mathematically, you're getting... <laughs> Math is fucking you. Okay. So does it work for you? Like I said, it's not... I'm not living, I'm surviving at this point. Exactly. So it's so. clearly not working for you. So will you work to get a better job? Build that resume. Maybe get certified. This isn't a quick fix. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm not saying go get a better job. It's super easy. So this, this this is what I mean. Like I'm not gonna like quit cold turkey and like no. try to find something else. So what? the goal is to that. pay off debt, get out of debt, and then like, okay, career wise, then start looking. Yeah, you have twenty six dollars left a month before you spend more hours doing Uber and DoorDash. So this debt situation uh, currently takes uh, quite a few lifetimes. Mm. So no, that doesn't make sense. You need to increase your income so you can increase the debt payoffs. Like I said, a lot of this stuff is from the month before. I know it's a stupid say. The stupid saying like this is a different month. But I wanted to. I don't get. I don't have. No, no, no. You're right. It was a different month. What I'm saying, I'm not including that kind of insane spending. I'm saying the minimums for you to survive gives you only like twenty six dollars a month. That's the minimums. That's not you. You living before. You living before. You have negative like two thousand dollars a month. So no, I know it's a new month. That's fantastic. If you follow this very strict restricting budget, you have twenty six dollars left. You need to increase your income. Get a job that pay. Even you getting a job that pays exactly what you're getting paid now, but only for 40 hours a week, so you can do the rest with another job, that's great, because then we can use that other job as just debt money, debt money. But right now, you're working mid-50 hours a week for this. If you worked only 40 hours a week in your job, you'd be going further into debt, because you can't afford your minimum expenses. So, I don't know if if I can explain it to the way that you're going to be able to understand because you've already like go on you don't see it the way that i do well i see and, the math and, and see, math and the, this breaks is, through all this, b- but go ahead. this is why i'm here yes. right? i need somebody else to look at it from an outside but, point but of you're view. pushing back on everything you're not accepting anything i'm listening <laughs> okay but you're not accepting are you going to go get a better job I am eventually. Eventually, what? Why? What's eventually? You said after getting okay, out of debt, but you'll never be out of debt. What's not eventually for you? No, no, no. Because not de- eventually. You, me saying eventually, it's like okay, probably in the next six months, probably in the next year. Not in the next year. We can't do next year. This interest will be continuing to accrue. While Assuming you're I'm only hours. making the minimum payments. You can't afford anything else. You have twenty six dollars. Again, that's just my base pay. Yes, no, no, no. I'm not including anything that I'm doing extra. You include it over time. You include it over time. I'm always doing overtime. Exactly. So this is fifty five hours a week. Mm-hmm. So if you work, but that gives you less time to go do Uber Eats. Plus the com- the very far commute back and forth. I get off at four every day. Plus the very far commute and back and forth. And then the forth. weekends is only half a day on Saturday. You already are on on Saturdays. So- what I seem to not be able to get through is if you worked 40 hours a week, nine to five, all that extra time could go towards Uber Eats and you could bring in so much more from that. Right now, so much time is dedicated to a job that you are not making no. good money. So no? I work from six to four Monday through Friday. With the big commute and you work on Saturdays, sometimes half days. I, I get off at 12. Where's all this overtime if you work nine to four? Because I, I work from six to four. Six to four. I mean, that's still not a lot of crazy Six to overtime. 12 on Saturdays. Still not a lot of crazy so overtime. So it gives me plenty of times to do other stuff. Okay, how much on average girls. have you been bringing in Uber Eats? Right now, Uber Eats. No, oh, DoorDash. What would you say? DoorDash, okay. So I haven't done any DoorDash. I, I went crazy on DoorDash last year because my dogs got attacked. 
and I had to pay for all of that. Oh, jeez, yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, what I have been doing is a uh, spark. And if I, f- I know. Is that where you rent out your car? No, it's a uh, Walmart delivery orders. Oh, okay. And uh, I know that if I like actually like get down and like bust my <laughs> in the weekends, I could bring an extra two to three hundred dollars a week. But because there's like either spending time with the girls or I'm just not like. That's the thing. I I want you to be a mother and be able to do motherly things. So if you get that other job where you're working 40 hours a week, making what you work now, six days a week, five and a half, or whatever, plus the extra time, you will. this gives you more time. I don't know why you're pushing back on this job thing so much. Some people subscribe to their jobs like it's, it's a religion. It's not. It's a place that I pays know, you for your time. Go get a better one that pays you better for less time. That's all it is. Again, is the whole thing with being a single parent? What? What are you going to... How I are you going to try to make that um, an excuse? Because... Come on, that's an excuse. Come on, go ahead. So, if the kids are sick or if I need to leave or if I need to do something, I can just go and do it. Yeah. There's not like, hey, asking for permission or... Because I don't... Okay. There's nobody that I have to pretty much answer to. I will say this. I will say this. In the grand scheme of the world that exists and all the children that exist and the parents that have jobs that exist, children get sick. Mm -hmm. Do you think no one else anywhere is able to deal with their kid when they get the stomach flu at school? Or are you the only one at that only company in the world? You're right. There are shitty jobs that exist. I am not saying go get a shitty job. You will talk about the workplace culture. You will talk about your kids in the interview process. You are going to be selective with the job. On this side of the table, I never once said go get any job. Go get a shitty job. Go get a terrible workplace culture job. You are going to get a job that works for your life that fits better. And you might have to search for a while. But the thing is, you just need to start searching and do it instead of just subscribing to this job like it's a religion. You're, you just need to get you a better job. If that requires getting a certification from like Course Careers or another place first, that's okay. We do that. That's a worthwhile investment. All I'm saying, you bring an extra $300 a week for this total debt. And that's if, and that's not even including the gas, the more gas you're going to be doing. That the, but the gas that I budget includes the And the maintenance stuff. and the maintenance in your car. We're not even going to include any of that. We're just going to say, okay, she brings in an extra $1,200 a month. Perfectly. Always. No issues. $1,200 a month. 25 months to pay off all this stuff. Does that sound reasonable to you? Plus, probably an additional five, six, seven months to build up an emergency fund. So the goal is to be either 100% or at least 75% out of this by the end of next year. That. Because, again, I'm including the loan. I'm including the car. I don't know what to say. You know that math doesn't make sense. That's a fantastic goal, but you have nothing to back that up. This was your perfect scenario. No maintenance, no gas, no nothing. Always bringing in an extra $300 a week is 25 months. 25 months at a minimum. So I don't know where you're coming out of next year. I, you're just... I don't... I'm real, I don't want to be. I don't want to be mean, but I'm having a hard time getting through. I'm having a hard time getting through. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. You're just saying you're going to have it done by the end of next month. Nothing to back that up. You didn't know. even know that your minimum monthly expenses were just as much as you were bringing in working fifty-five no, hours a week. I'm very aware. Okay. Okay. But yeah, she won't get another job. You drive far for work. A lot of gas goes to that. It's about thirty minutes. Okay. It's okay. Not that bad. No, that's not that's not crazy. You made it sound crazier when you uh, talked about the gas the, bill. It's but. on the freeway to freeway, so. Yeah, yeah. So again, like the seventy, I budget includes everything else that I do. As but well. either way, I don't know what else to say. I said this is how long it's going to take. Oh, but I have a goal to do this, even though there's nothing that is being done in order to do it. I don't know. So. I don't think it's a productive conversation. <laughs> going forward. I hope the best, but 
and I hope you follow this budget and I hope you get a better job and all this stuff, but I do not know what else to say because everything is just being pushed back on and it's not getting through the wall. So I'm sorry, but I'll let you have the final word. I mean, so the whole point of me coming up here was for that. Right? I don't have anybody to like get on me about my... Right, it's like I do, and then I I just do. So, this month has been, again, zero eating out. Literally, like zero eating out, and like strictly budgeting. That's why I got like the two hundred dollars a month for budget on groceries, because I was like, I, this is what I spent. Um, so it's pretty much okay. Getting um accountability for what I did last month. Because it's pretty much what I've been doing all those prior months as well. But like, okay, you need to get together. This is what you need to do. And this is how you get there. So. Yeah. I get it. It's hard. Now, the, the I, only know, re- I, know, I know the job thing is not the best. But I'm not saying no. I'm just saying, like, you're coming at it kind of like right now. Yes. And that's not... No, I'm saying you start be, looking right now. No, it I is have, an option. I have. Again, I, I looked at your course careers thing. I have been looking. Have you been applying to jobs? Not yet. So that's my issue the, with the conversation okay, and what I'm having a hard time with. Because I have been with that job for this long. No, and that's great. Be, because I have, this is what I've been working with. Okay, this is my security. Once I'm able to get into a more comfortable place where I can, like, okay, get a different job that makes more money. And it's like, okay, what if any something happens? There's no security there for me. There's no security for anything. This job could let you go. I know. But again, it's like... <laughs> you don't, you, there's no emergency fund. There is no security. So let's get the best job with the best money. We start looking for it today. You do it. I'm not saying it's easy. It's easier said than done. You might apply to 50000 a day and not get one for like a year. If that's the, but you need to put in the effort to do it. The reason why I'm ready to cut the interview is because every time I say something, it's okay, but okay, but or, or no, I'm gonna get out of debt the next year, even though the math, uh, or you know, all the stuff. There's just it's just not getting through, and I don't think it's productive. It's no longer helping people who are watching. And I don't think it's helping you. I want to help you, but if everything's okay, but okay, but justification, this, that, this, that, we're, we're just not helping each other. I didn't so. realize it sounded like that, honestly. Okay, okay. But I, again, I am listening. I am gonna like go through Good. it. Then I'll say this. Then I was gonna cut it off, but I'll say this. Then this is what I would do. Were I in your shoes, mm-hmm. I would follow that budget that we put on screen that I wrote down that I talked about. I would cut back on any fun expenditures, only do used stuff for the kiddos for now. I'd get, I'd start searching for a better job immediately. Every single evening, I would apply to a minimum 25 jobs. Try to do it 50. You can do quick applies as well. Every single day in jobs you think you're qualified for, go through a resume builder that costs like $2 online. It's worth it. Do that. Try to get that better job and make as much money as you can on the side and then just pay these that's off in the snowball method makes the most sense for you. It makes most sense for most people because this is the classic American debt layout is the one that you have. Again, so smallest to largest did you know any of vocabulary until like January? I know. That's okay. Like, I am not punishing you or, well, I'm not punishing you at all, but I'm not beating you up for your past. Everything that we've talked about is either what's happening now or what's going to happen. So I haven't, I haven't yelled about your past, about your past. Except for what happened a couple weeks ago, sure. But not what happened a few years ago. So that's okay that you have become more educated than you were ignorant on all this stuff until recently. That's fantastic. You're getting to a better place. But do the things that are necessary now to better yourself. I guess in the end, mostly what I'm afraid of is just... just I want you to have a better life. I want your kids to have a good life. I want everything to work out. And that's so, that's the goal. Yeah. Like I know that it, it feels like I'm fighting you a lot right now, but I, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna, you know, think about everything that you said, and start doing the steps to, you know, get there. Good. 
Any final thoughts now? Oh, shit. <laughs> um, again, is the hope again? This is just um, have somebody else looking in that doesn't know like the the backstory and like give you like a a clear one way path way of like okay, this is what needs to be done to get there. What either I follow it you know, to the T, or I adjust it as I go, it's completely up to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I will, again, it's still that same path. And I am going to, you know, I know it doesn't sound like it, but I will. We'll do a checkup. I, I'll do a three-month mm-hmm. checkup with you on the email. And we'll hold you accountable. We'll be like, here, Caleb, stop yelling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For Daisy... I'm nervous for her. It's going to take a really long time, and that's if she busts, busts, busts her butt every single second. Oh, she needs to increase that income and just work like crazy, and she can't have any paid for fun. It's going to be hard. I feel bad for her. She's gotten into a mess, but now it's time to clean up that mess. Whew, that's a difficult one. Hammer financial score. I think what she gave herself is going to be pretty close. Budgeting, at least at the time of the statement, zero out of ten. She's well spending over what she makes. It's like two thousand bucks over what she makes. Debt, one out of ten, and only a one because she's not in collections and she doesn't owe the IRS anything. It's like the ultimate bad debt. Retirement, zero out of ten. There's nothing. Emergency fund, there's basically nothing, but there is a little bit there. So one out of ten in real estate, obviously nothing yet. Not even in that conversation. Zero out of ten. Rounded. Hammer Financial Score, 0 out of 10. Make sure to check it out in the resources in the description below, like Course Gurus, and don't forget to follow my Instagram and Twitter. Thanks.